Hello pals and Paulines. Uh, believe it or not, I got to the shop today. First time in, I don't know, two or three months. Well, I don't do time real good anymore. I don't really like it. And uh, so I don't keep up with it unless I have an appointment. Then I get there an hour early just because I have a problem with time. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. Question number one. This is the front extension off my Herald. The driver's side had a spessa. And I did not see a spessa on the passenger side. Now, my thinking is, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, the driver's side always gets a spacer because of there's going to be a guy in it, or a little girl. Little girl's good. Uh, on a Crosley, on the front driver's side, they put an extra leaf in the front spring to take up the space of the guy in there, guy, gal, so it don't sag on that side and embarrass you going down the road. Okay, number two. I got my New clutch disc in the mail. I don't know if you can see that. 10,000 RPMs. So, it ought to be good. And, and it's it's real beefy in here. It's a lot thicker metal, too. But it's no springs. It's a solid clutch. And uh, lovely. Or so I thought. Here's the old two-part clutch. I guess I could... Now, who's a good welder? Well, everybody's a good welder besides me. They could fix that. Now, this just barely wiggle wiggles, which is good. This, same, same number of splines. It, it's got the floppy thing. Which is not good. So, that's not going anywhere. I'm just going to reorder and get me another one that fits. Hey, it's a good thing I checked that. Well, I was going to check it anyway. Okay, this is the, uh, oh, the sway bar for the front of the Herald, and it's got these weird mounts. I've never seen them before. And they're Supposed to be welded, but they're snapped in two. They don't look very hefty. So I'm probably going to replace them with some pretty heavy clamps. I think I've got some. So if anybody's never seen these or ever seen these, there they are. And there you go. Uh, moving right along, I got some more parts for the old engine nine. And I'll show them to you. And here is the that paint that I was stirring up trying to wake up, here is the result. It's really orangey, kind of. I don't know if signal red is that orangey, I think. Or is a stop sign? I think that's signal red. And that stripe is signal red. And, and that is signal red. And whew, My face was signal red when I was putting that tire together on that truck. But I've done it. So much for my back. Uh, this is still a mess. But I was going to ask you about these clutch and brake cylinders. Now that this car is going to have disc brakes, is there a certain kind that I need to get? Size-wise in here or whatever. And uh, if they can be interchanged, I'd like to just buy the one kind of everything and have that interchangeable big old big old big old But anyway, y'all answer that if you can. I know you can. And let's move back to the back of the little car. I'll show you what's been happening. Whether you want to or not, blah. Here's my rebuilt head, $500. 
Man, it's gorgeous. Got new stainless steel valves and all that goober stuff. It don't have a big old crack in it like my other one. So, an added bonus. Uh, questions. Here we go. Lug bolts. The studs on these axles. To me, they're short, and other people say on the on the websites and stuff say that to replace them with Spitfire ones or something else, uh, Range Rovers or something. And uh, thinking about doing that, but changing them with a Spitfire, you're only going to gain an, a quarter of an inch. I measured them with my measuring stick. So anyway, that's the way that goes. So tell me your IDs on that, and let's see. This has got a radio. Let me get Archie Farsi here. Oop. I don't know if that's a real one. It doesn't say Triumph on it, but it may be a period outfit. And I don't know if that should stay there or not. I think I'm going to take that out. And put me a bank of them real tiny small gauges in it and then dig all the gauges besides the speedometer out of the dash and make that slicker and cleaner and just go by the three stooge gauges in, in the hole there. So if that's a good idea let me know. Excuse me. How if I can get this turned back? Maybe that's back. No, forward, back. They got to put instructions on these for idiots like me. Uh, let's see. What, uh, the turn, tail and turn signals. Okay. This is what I do instead of sleeping at night. Okay, we got a double element here in the in the brakes and the tail lights, and then a single element up here. Now, if I put a double element in both ends. Wouldn't that be more lovely? They could do the same job on both ends and be lovely. There's something, probably something wrong with that because they'd have done it in Coventry if they thought of it. And they're pretty bright compared to me. A turtle is bright compared to me. And these tail lights, this is the ones that come off of it, and it's got these cool little reflectors or something in them like like this. That one snapped off and could be glued back in there. And uh, the ones I, I bought for $30 a piece didn't have these in it. But should I glue these in the new ones? Would it make a difference? Um, depending on y'all. You are my brain trust. And uh, the heater, the heater box up there, I've seen them have, mine's got a little bit of a decal on it, but I'm wondering if somebody re, re-does them to where you can buy them, buy the, I'm, I'm real big on details and decals and stuff like that. That's, it's got to be there for, to make me happy. And uh, when you go to 12 volt positive, somebody said on the website that it'll make the fan blower go backwards. Is that right? If it is, I'll just put me a either a left-handed wheel or a left-handed uh, motor. But if I don't have to, I don't have to. And uh, they also said some stuff about the gas pedals on these, the cable not being just too hunky-dory. And uh, I thought since it kind of has the holes, I could put a Spitfire pedal in there and just run the rod across. See, right there, you can see it. Right there is one of them, and one of them, I think that's where it comes out at. I don't know. I have to look at it closer, but wouldn't that be a cool, a better way to go since I'm going to have them twin Spitfire carburetors, they'd hook up a lot easier. 
and uh, let me know please. Moving right along. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm I've not got much uh, oh the headlining in my top or the hood doesn't have any uh any bows. And all the headliners I ever did, you know, hung on some wire bows that's hanging in there. So I'm wondering if and where and when I can get them or if I or what what is there a better idea? But anyway. That would be be good to know that. Back up yar. We'll go on this side now. Tear my beautiful work pants. Uh this thing don't never had any well since I had it any uh restraints. I should know all about that. Uh, the bonnet don't have the stays on it like I see in some of them and yet it parks itself I guess against the front valance. So I guess I need to get the stays for it and I need to find out where. So oh and this thing here is all eat up. This is what I'm worried about. I ain't worried about them big holes. This here is ugly to me. I'm gonna have to cut that out. And this lip. Thank you. This lip's gonna be it's hard for me to make these lips. Of course it's a double, it's it's curled under another. But I'm just going on. Don't worry about me, I'll figure it out. Cute little heater box. Yeah, and I know there's a thing there it says Samurai Smith but some of them I see has got a decal up here too who knows ain't that cute oh everything on this rascal is so beautiful cute and I'm not uh, so let's go back to the list headlining bows a steering wheel diameter okay this is a really cool steering wheel but it's tiny I mean, oops, sorry. There ain't a scratch in it, a knot, or nothing. It would polish up so pretty. And it's it's thick. I like a thick mm. wheel. But it's tiny. And I don't know if it looks... It looks to me tiny in here. It looks too tiny for the car. But I don't know. If If other people like it, I'll probably end up liking it too. And I've been checking out the uh, wooden wooden ones like what Wilma's got. Wilma's got a big wheel. And it's got notches out of it. And blood and all sorts of things where it's been used. And I could sand it down and varnish it and stuff. Make it pretty. But it looks manly all like that. Rawr, rawr. Okay. Quit that. And then I'll give you a perspective of it. What do y'all think? Too little? I mean, when I would buy an old car, especially an old hot rod, which is what we had in my day, people would put these goofy, tiny steering wheels in. And they're always problems. Of course, one thing, the horn didn't never worked. And another thing, there was a bear to drive. And especially a hot rod that you really need to know, so you need to have some steering that works. And the little wheel is not as easy to drive as a as a big honking wheel. So anyway, that's it. Corner plate bolts. I don't know. Oh yeah, corner plate bolts. Excuse me. These have got to come out, if you can see. And the head's rotted off of one of them. And the other one don't look too happy itself. Any ideas? I mean, I've been soaking them underneath and in the bad stuff here. And I guess there's a cage nut or something in the frame or in this leg that holds them in there. 
Sorry. So, I don't know. That's really going to bother me. But anyway. No. No, 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 no. Quit. Now we're back to the world. Uh, let me know about that. Incidentally, this this uh, molding thing down here is exactly the same size as the number four shovel. So I can take a, it, the hardened end of a shovel and lop it off and make both plates, the, the lower one and the other one. That'll make it happy. It's already got that shape. Hallelujah. <laughs> Country. And uh, I think that's it. That's all my questions. Thank the Lord. But, I don't know. That's what I got. And, Chef Tush told me about the Roadster factory last year. When I asked him about a heater valve. And I was too stupid to figure it out. I thought it was Roadster for hot rods. You know, high boys and stuff like uh, CB Hollocks building. But it's Roadster these roadsters not roosters but roadsters so i've got lots of cool stuff for for wilma and for harold jean here and it's lovely these motor mounts five bucks uh triumph letters i've been working on them for two months and you can buy a brand new set for seventeen dollars and a lot of a lot of this stuff, these bellows are going on Wilma. And these go, I'll split these between Wilma and Harold. So that's a lovely, a lovely thing. And it's pretty cheap. If you say it quick. And that's it. I think that's it. Uh, still below freezing. A lot of frozen stuff in here. Including me been here a while and mm, that smells better so continuing story of clutch amagus cut clutch cargo remember that cartoon clutch cargo oh, okay I hope you don't poor thing where can I see me better where is it I don't think I can be seen better anyway. Anyway, uh, I love y'all and y'all take care of each other. And uh, I don't know, y'all get to feeling better. Half of us is puny in the back and everything else. And uh, Just take your time and, oh, if your back hurts, my back is, I've been, act, officially, back has been broken two places. And then my neck's been broke twice, officially. But anyway, I was real bad one time, and I was off at a at a kilter. My back head was kinked to the side, and it messed with everything. And I blinked; it hurt, and it even messes with your bowel control if it gets that bad enough, which is embarrassing by itself. And uh, I'm telling you this because I want you to to uh, not go through this like I did. I was, they sent me all over the place, chiropractors and snarpractors, and they still won't operate on me because I'll become a vegetable, yeah. I asked them what kind of vegetable, and they, that's an old story anyway. But anyway, I went to this gal that's, that's in Leslie, where I'm from, and uh, she does acupuncture. And at that time, when your back is just killing you, you don't want somebody to cram some needles in there and throw a, hand, a candle under them, but I went there for a massage. And I scared to death. I wore my swimming trunks and my underwear and my pants because I'm real modest. And I got there and she says, uh, get this robe and stuff. And it was just a real big worry thing. I was just crying. If I got out of there, I could have got out of there. 
but she sat me on the thing and throwed some of this oil or something on it and started kicking me and slapping me around. <laughs> now she was massaging where my uh, back was bulged out and I was there at a kilter and uh, scared to death. I was scared to death. Still scary. I hope I forget. Anyway, I don't want to forget it because it was a good thing. Anyway, she done some stuff to me and there was incense smelling in the air and I was afraid I was in a big dope place and people was going to go in there with big red eyes and, you know, and it's been a long time since I watched any of my Cheech and Chong records, so I couldn't speak the lingo. But uh, when I left there, I was fixed. It's amazing. I know the good Lord had a hold of it. But when I left there, it was I was great. I was fixed. I don't know how she done it. I don't know how, what, anyway. I was fixed. I straightened up. I stepped off the curb, and I didn't cry. And uh, went to work the next day, lifting transfer cases and engines and doing all sorts of stuff that you're not supposed to do. So acupuncture, I'm going to say that's a good thing. Chiropractor and surgery and stuff. I can't recommend it. Every time they cut on me, I'm worse than it was before they throwed me on the table. So, uh, take that with a grain of salt because I'm not really right in the head. And uh, just thinking about y'all. Anyway, I love you once again. Bye-bye.